My name is Ben Slay. I work for Fusion for Energy and I am the deputy project manager of the site buildings and power supplies project. Today we look at the contractors area number two and in this area we host uh, the contractors that will facilitate and will construct all the buildings and all the power supplies installations on the ITER worksite. The contractor area constitutes of the following items. There is a canteen which can serve up to 1500 meals per day. Then there, is, there are offices for the legal inspection services and the health and safety services. And there are offices for the engaged supervision team. They monitor the works on the construction site. Furthermore, the, there is the area for the contractors where they have their office spaces. There are nine lots and the first two lots are taken by VFR. VFR is the company that was awarded the construction of the Tokoma complex and the surrounding buildings. The other seven lots will be filled up by the other contractors. They will arrive in the coming year and they will first install their offices and behind their offices there is a place for workshops and facilities for the people to shower and to change before they go to an after work. My name is Nicolas Rowick, I'm the Health and Safety Coordinator for the F4A activities on the ITER worksite. I work for APAV in the framework of the contract of the legal inspection and health and safety coordination in the ITER worksite. My main mission is to ensure that one company do not generate any risk to the other and then all the risk is managed for a good safety level on the worksite and ensure a safe work but as well a quality work. This CA2 is one of the most important area of, uh, of the worksite because we will welcome all the companies uh, on, this, on this contractor area. The infirmary is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in order to welcome and to make some little care uh, to the workers. We can manage directly and give care directly on site in order to reduce the risk of more important accidents. And they work as well with us in case of emergency situation because they are the first medical aid on the work site. As soon as we have an accident on the work site, we call uh, the dedicated number for, uh, for emergency and then the infirmary goes to the assembly point in order to help the victim and to assist the emergency services. To host and to receive all these people, between two and three thousand workers, there is 30,000 square meters of uh, parking available. It means that there is one parking space per five people. That means that people are encouraged to do carpooling and uh, a bus uh, service will be set up. It is important to have this area ready for the contractors before uh, the real work starts, so that the companies that arrive here, they can directly concentrate on the real construction works and they don't have to waste uh, a lot of time by setting up the office space, building up the infrastructure.